All right, welcome back to another video by Foco Web Design. Today I'm going to show you how to connect reCAPTCHA 3 to Elementor. So to do that, all you got to do is when you're building out your form inside of Elementor and you go to add a new item for the form, so you add a new item here and then you just click on reCAPTCHA 3. It's going to have this little notification appear if it doesn't already have an integration with it. And so you can push update, but it won't work yet and then uh, go back to the WordPress dashboard and click on Elementor and then go down to settings and then click on integrations and then scroll down to the 3 and you're going to need the site key and the secret key so just click right here on this link this is going to open up uh, Google console if you need an account go ahead and log into an account first once you're at this screen, all you got to do is click on this V3 admin console right here on the Google Recaptcha screen. This will take you to a screen where you can you can hit create by adding the little plus symbol here. You can create a new Recaptcha 3. Click there. Type in the label, which is going to be not the website with the HTTPS, or else it'll yell at you. For example. If you'd use this, and then you also use it as the domain, and you go to accept the terms, and you hit submit, it'll tell you that this cannot have www, so just get rid of that. And then also the label, I think the label can stay the same, let's see. So the domain cannot have that. Just leave it regular, whatever it is, .com, .net, whatever. Hit submit, and you're good. So then copy the site key by clicking on the copy site key and then paste it right here actually I'm sorry paste it right here make sure you paste it in the recaptcha version 3 site key field paste it there grab the copy secret key and then copy and paste that into the secret key recaptcha version 3 field there scroll down and push save changes going back to the front end of the website now You'll see in the bottom right hand corner you have a recaptcha. It says re protected by recaptcha. This is all you need to do. And now, this doesn't make them fill out little images or click little um, fire hydrants or select any squares of any kind. It simply knows if it's a robot based on the way the person interacts with the website. There are certain things that people do and robots don't, and so those out those uh, those metrics are being tracked and analyzed by this recaptcha 3 security feature here and therefore it knows whether or not it's legitimate or not so thank you like subscribe if this helped you and uh, have a wonderful day